This week on PBC Jabs, we take a look at the stack 2018 schedule, plus we check in with lightweight world champ Robert Easter Jr. ahead of his upcoming January 20th fight. Welcome back, boxing fans. I'm your host, Jordan Hardy, and this is PBC Jabs. Happy New Year, boxing fans. PBC wants to welcome you to an exciting new year of boxing. 2017 was a great year for the sport, and we've got plenty more terrific matchups to look forward to in 2018. Here's what we have lined up so far. On January 20th from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, undefeated IBF welterweight champ Errol Spence Jr. makes his first title defense when he faces former two-division world champ Lamont Peterson. And in the co-main event, unbeaten world champ Robert Easter Jr. will take on Southpaw and former world champ Javier Fortuna. The action starts at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, live on Showtime. Then on February 10th, also on Showtime, three-division world champ Mikey Garcia attempts to add a fourth belt to his name when he faces unbeaten 140-pound title holder Sergey Lipinets from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. And on February 17th, former two-division world champ Danny Garcia returns to the ring to face former world champ Brandon Rios at the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas. Plus, super middleweight champ David Benavides defends his title for the first time against Ronald Greville in a rematch of their suspenseful September showdown live on Showtime. For more information on these upcoming fights and including ticket information, visit PremierBoxingChampions.com. With our January 20th fight night just a few weeks away, we thought we'd check in with 135-pound champ Robert Easter Jr. Robert, thanks for joining us on PBC Jabs. Thanks for having me, Jordan. Your opponent, Javier Fortuna, is a former world champion, hungry to regain a title. Knowing that, have you made any changes in camp to prepare for him? Um, no changes. Just, uh, all we, all we gotta do is work on, um, different, um, tactics and, um, Stand um, with my skill, using my uh, reach and my um, height, and using that as my advantage. And um, we're good. We just uh, preparing for a little uh, adjustments we have to make in, in a ring, but nothing different. If you are successful on January 20th, will you be looking to unify the division? Um, when I'm successful, yes, I am uh, looking forward to uh, unifying the titles. You know, uh, against the champions in my weight class. Your last two fights were in your hometown of Toledo, Ohio. How do you think it will compare to fighting at Barclays Center on January 20th? I fought, I fought plenty of times, you know, outside of my hometown, you know. Uh, gaining the title, I thought of bringing, bringing it back and fighting in front of my, my hometown fans, you know, but I was fighting out of town before I, I gained the title. So it'll, just, it'll be just the same as uh, uh, Redding, Pennsylvania when I won the title. There were rumors that you were going to fight Mikey Garcia. Was that true? And is that a fight you want in the future? Um, we was trying to get some worked out. Uh, of course, that was one of the champions I did want to fight, you know, uh, but I guess both camps didn't come to agreement, but we're still working on something. He's not the only champion in 135. So uh, I'm looking to unify with either, either champions in my weight class. Well, thank you for your time, Robert, and good luck on the 20th. Thank you again for having me. That's all for this episode of PBC Jabs. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time as we continue to bring you the best in boxing.